I know for me, it was like, it didn't take me long to realize that our break even point, as far as like how much volume do we have to do as a branch to, you know, not make a huge profit, but not lose money that month. Right. With the overhead of the rent and the lease and the credit reports, which have gotten outrageous. I mean, I, I would say on, honestly, probably about a 50% reduction in the volume that we have to do in order to break even on a monthly basis. And that's because the cost to produce at the corporate level is low that therefore the branch margin can be higher. The corporate expenses that are coming out on a per loan basis are less. And it's really the compounding effect of all of that, that allows you to now do half the volume to break even. Right. So now you're making way more profit at those higher volume numbers. When you're making more profit by the with less volume, yeah. you're able to do things. Now you for can your market. Team. Now you can raise basis points for your right. loan officers. You're, I mean, it just gives you so much flexibility to do more. Totally. You got a loan officer that wants to do a mailing. I don't even have to think about it, right? Right. Yes. Let's do it. What you know? Give me the details. Obviously, mm -hmm. right. I'm going to do my due diligence. But you know, being able to say yes to your loan officers and say, "Hey, you want to try something different?" You know, and yeah, it costs money. Yeah, I'm willing to help you. And having the ability to say yes yeah. in this market. Where every other company is going to be like, if you want to do that, you're going to pay that out of your own pocket. Mm -hmm. That's a recruiting tool in and of itself. Right. So if you're a branch manager that wants to grow a branch and grow a brand and a team, absolutely. Where, actually, else, where else would you go? 